is Starfield. Dude, an extended look. How long is extended? <laughs> awesome. Finally, some gameplay. The wonder is not that the field of stars is so vast, but that man has measured it. <laughs> Thank you, Bradley. <laughs> Away for an RPG in space. Another one. Tap music, man. What music? Maintaining exit vector course. Steady till ready. Coordinates input. Plotting jump course. Skyfence has converged. We're looking good. Allocating auxiliary reactor power. System checks are green across the board. Grab jump command. Okay. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see- A long time, that's an understatement, dude. <laughs> our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. Ah. So let's jump right in. This is Hell the yeah. game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. So are the worlds like... Wow. Like, can you travel between, like, between, like actually get to travel between planets like No Man's Sky? Or is it like, more like what Mass Effect was? Where you have like that, that kind of cut, cut animation. Crete. My fault, Opti, my bad. <laughs> Dude, that ship looks like it would just fall apart. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Huh. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Oh, mm, yeah, it looks a little like it, but the aesthetic especially is quite... Mm. Oh, that, that looks very normal. Okay, so you can play in third person as well as first person. <clears throat> I know, right? Faith for me? Yeah, agreed. My question is, like, are these worlds going to feel like vibrant and full of life and interesting stories and stuff to do that's very no man's sky is that in terms of like just like getting resources and things surveying Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Guns. Lots of guns. More guns. Okay. Where are the enemies? Are you all, are you all on break? <laughs> Where are they all at? <laughs> Where are you all at? Pirates. Level hey, two. This is quite early on then. <clears throat> okay. Guns look good. Down, 
<laughs> Shotgun. <clears throat> Fallout equals Skyrim in space. That's basically what it looks like, Dante. I think you are right. We got... Oh, hacking. We got hacking. Well, lock picking. And weapon chests. Laser gun? That's a dumb AI. <laughs> you went boom. Oh, jetpack. Oh, now we are talking. Now we're sci-fi. Gotta be jetpacks. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. <clears throat> It's very photorealistic, isn't it? The uh, the settings, you know, very much so. <laughs> Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here. Very outer worlds right now. The biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? Did we have voice acting there for our own character? It appears to be one of many scattered across the galaxy. Cool. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the settled systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson <laughs> Fleet! Everybody get ready! The Fleet doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Step. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. So you can join them. The path may be dangerous. Oh! But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end wow. of this world will change humanity. Whoa. Cool. Forever. Ancient tech. Hell yeah. That gives you a look at the story. I'm of intrigued. Starfield. I'm intrigued. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Okay, character creation. Please have a good character creation. It's our creation. most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, you are right. It, uh, most Bethesda games don't really have uh, voice acting for the main character. I like it though. It, it helps me with my immersion, but um, I get that some people don't. some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. I like it there when my uh, main character's voice acted. Unique advantages and disadvantages. I like the fact I can play third person but it's not just as well you can look, as first person. It's how your character plays and develops. Okay. The skill system combines the best from Combat, our previous games. Combat, social, physical, science, tech. And you can tech. unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them That's to very, challenges. That's very, like, sort of Fallout. And there's deep crafting <laughs> systems. From running cool. research okay. projects with resources It's an RPG. It wouldn't be an RPG without some crafting. Crafting weapon mods needed to survive. Oh, yeah. Nice. The guns look fun. I will say that. And... 
you can build your own outposts. <laughs> These act as this is a, a Bethesda game. <laughs> for survival and resource it's generation. Like, nah, it's like Fallout. <laughs> you can choose where and how to build each one. And you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. Awesome, that's good. Can you interact with them? Can but you talk to them? That's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. Oh, yeah. Customization of my spaceship. Hell yes. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. Oh my god. That's crazy. There's loads of different oh, models. Can you imagine all the really cool ships that people are going to come up with? I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, it's a question for you guys. What do you guys prefer? First person or third it's person to play this looks, game in? It's how it performs. From engines to shields to weapon systems. Wow. Because yes, you can fly it. Can, can you control it though? like in space? <laughs> yes, you can. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, oh I now, oh now, I'm interested. Now I am interested. A good, I want a good story. <laughs> That's what I want. Oh, oh. ooh, space battle. Pirates! That sound as well. Oh my god. Do you see just break apart? It seems like the sound is different whether you're in the cockpit or you're playing third person. Oh my god! This looks amazing. That is gone up in my estimations for sure. Third person has always been cooler in my opinion. Cool, cool, awesome. Yeah, you guys are like me. You like playing in third person. I'm the same. I like to see my character, especially if I'm customizing them. I would have liked the option in Cyberpunk 2077 to be able to play in uh, third person as well. <coughs> wow. So much to play. We can't wait oh my God. for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering... Can you imagine the modding community this with this game? I bet so it's big. So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. God. And it's okay. not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Jesus. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. What the hell? You can't wait to see what you find. Are they gonna be good though? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what No Man's Sky promised that to start off with, and then, you know, they ended up being carbon copies and procedurally generated, so. I'm curious. I mean, they all look cool. I mean, these planets look really different and really awesome. Um, but yeah, still worried about the scale of it. Yeah, I have no, I don't need it to be bigger, bigger than big. I, I'm fine with it being contained. I'm fine with it being a contained experience. No problem with that whatsoever. Because uh, then, then it's more focused and you can really control that experience as a developer. Um, I mean, it's ambitious, I will say that. So it will, it will be see. It will be interesting to see, kind of, you know, uh, how, how it plays. Yeah, I think that's a good point fit for me. I think a lot of people do get motion sick with first person. So having the option for third person does help with that. Um, I think that's a, a great point. So obviously it's coming in 2023. Uh, PC Game Pass as well, which is mind-boggling. Um, 
it is a big promise it's a massive promise and and the thing is like i know that like todd howard and i know bethesda have made crazy promises in the past and haven't really met them so i'm excited i'm cautiously excited about it but i will be going in eyes fully open mm-hmm.